here guys what we have is an early 30s Ford and he is heading to the fairground for the car show. Isn't that so nice? Oh my goodness. Hello everyone and we are heading today we're heading to the uh, to the fairground. You have probably guys have seen some of uh, my video from the night before when we were doing the or do a tour at the hotel parking lot where there's a lot of street rod uh, or classic car street rod that parks on the parking lot and we were just doing a tour today we are going to the fairgrounds which which is actually like the where the car show starts or, you know but anyway the, the by the way the vehicle that i just kind of took a picture earlier it's right there hang on right there guys that's a 90 early 1930s street ride so and my husband says we're not quite sure we're not just we're not so sure if that's a ford or, or a chevy but i have to correct myself before i get corrected sitting corrected that is so <laughs> you listen to that guys so that's what we're doing today and of course i'm on my ball cap and yeah this is kind of like different this i have my hair put up on a bun but not on a ponytail so i kind of just give you a little bit of an idea what my bun look like <laughs> so anyway i just have to show that right <laughs> so anyway so it's gonna be a fun fun day guys we're gonna be just there for about two hours i would say because it is so hot and on top of that it's dusty also because we haven't had rain for a while oh i just saw a green car right there in front of us guys just a there it is another green street right in front of us so it is gonna i'm gonna be showing a lot of uh, classic uh, car street ride for today guys and by the way this um, this car show is actually it's uh it's called frog follies hang on look at that side by side so guys seven dollars per person uh, for admission to get into the <clears throat> the area well, of course that's what I would say like the car show area so we just got into the area so anyway when you get into the area guys into this like a fairground it's you come in, you get into that like the swap meet <laughs> well, well the swap meet the swap area where there's like vendors you know and they're selling some kind of car parts we just kind of give you an idea of that like this one here these are like the tool parts it's almost like remind me of the philippines when they're having like festivities like fiestas and People are selling all the different kind of. Let me just see. I better do this. Here you go. Yeah. And then there's like uh, people are selling like shirts, you know, like their uh, like souvenirs. I guess what I'm talking about the shirts and all that. And see, look, there's the car parts. And actually, this one here is for sale. Four tires, and even the vehicle is for sale for seven thousand five hundred. So this is what it looks like on the on the swap area Like this, so it's kind of more and look at these people They're gone getting covered. They what so see everything is like it's a huge It's really like a huge yeah. gathering people are just like it's not just Well, like, you know, they are the people Okay, thank you Thanks so people are just so this is like the this is the car enthusiast enthusiast if I said it right. So my husband was telling me that this uh, car show I don't know how you call it car show, but uh, but it, oh there's the car that we saw last night. Let me see. <laughs> there you go. This is the car that we saw last night. Oh in my vlog. Hang on a minute. In my vlog. This is the one that was uh, you know at the end of my vlogs last night they it's uh, rubbing the engine or rumbling oh my goodness guys it is for sale see that nice car uh, uh, oh my goodness they're asking fifty thousand dollars or best offer what year is this 1951 oh why well, there's a 51 here okay so it's not enter into the Oh, okay. Wow. I was like, yeah, this is supposed to be a, a, a pre-49 or 
48 car show but I was like why that's 51 and my husband was saying that it's because it's for sale it's not entered into the show so here's another one guys it's a big uh, car parts right there car parts store or part of the swap but here is this this is nice track see okay we are just on the like area where they're not really part or entered into the car show but anybody can whatever car you have uh, original uh, 50s above or 14 and above you can bring it here but then it is not entered into the show it's just kind of like for everybody to look at so anyway there's some more there's quite a little, this is the this is the time and people are just like walking around looking at different cars i don't remember this last night i don't remember this last night either but you know we're just kind of like yeah i like that color too nice what year is this this is ford look i know i'm not into engine and everything but some of you guys probably would like to look at the engine what did you say what year is this a 40 my husband says it's like a oh and it is for sale too this is a 1940 ford uh four-door sedan so anyway guys my husband was telling me that um this this is a the biggest uh non-sanctioned car show in uh, in the united states and and i was like what's non-sanctioned means <laughs> he said that well you know i have to, he has to explain that to me that this is actually like non-sanctioned that means is a privately run car club pretty much and they call it the the frog fall is um, so the sanctioned one is like for example the nhra you know they're they're big and uh, big entity yeah that's the word that's kind of fit into it it's a big entity run privately I and mean, run by a huge uh, corporation that means everything and in what, what my husband can explain to me in a nutshell is that when you go to an HNRA since a big entity bigger entity so it costs you like for, uh, 25 to 30 dollars to just get in the the show itself here as you notice in the beginning of this uh, my of this video it's only seven dollars to get in and you can pretty much see anything and everything too so you know it's kind of like and then i was telling my husband so that means it's like a it's like a car show for the mass <laughs> for people like you know like me so uh, also one thing that he was saying that like i said uh, he said it's a pre uh pre 48 cars only that means 48 below can enter to the car show or enter the into the car show yes and as long as it's been modified or in other words customized so every uh cars that in the show not in the street area we're looking for probably looking at but probably most of the cars there would be like uh, modified or you know customized to the person's specificity and that's why they call it street run so my friend the the friend that we ran around last night um, they have a 40 no a, a, a 30 something I'm not sure what the year because like I said I'm just learning guys. Right? so but uh, they cannot it cannot be entered into this car show because it's everything is original it's a stock a stock car so to speak that means um, he they actually kind of like um, what's the word I'm looking for so he, he restored it but everything in all original for me that he did not customize it or you know modified it into something that's why it's not it's not considered a street rat so this one here is all street rat but if you think about this guys too these people that enters their car and this show they they spend a lot of money to customize their vehicle so you know it's like a great american hobby that's what you know they're kind of like if you have money too <laughs> so let me just quit talking and i will show you guys how big this area is see guys see that's how big the area that's on just the side of side of the uh, fairground 
you and know, I could probably get actually them. goes up there too. Uh, they're the low bone dogs there too. So yeah, they're, they're at the shop. They probably. I said, yeah. in, I said in the bone dogs, I meant it's on the hills. <laughs> so here's another one, guys. Uh, yeah, she's out here with food. Oh look, they're doing their food too. So, oh, it makes me hungry. <laughs> no mask, guys. <laughs> of course, it's out, out in the open too, so. Look at this, wow. Look at this. Who was it? That's another for sale also. Wow. What they're asking. Is it a nice car? Okay. All right. Wow, look at the inside. Hmm. It's for sale, yes. I know it is so nice. So clean. But of course it all the other one is, ex is for sale too, right yeah, there. This is a 57 Chevy. This is 57. Oh, that's a 57 Chevy. Oh my goodness. There's a song about that. <laughs> 57 Chevy. Okay, this is a racing. Oh, look at this. Man. I know. This is, what is this? It's almost like yours. Oh, it's a Mustang. Yours was Chevy. Uh, yeah, this is a nice mass master. Okay. See, I don't know my car, guys. I just like to look at. This another. This is uh, oh, this is uh, for sale. Oh, this uh, th this three are for sale. I'm gonna start this one because they're talking around that El Camino. Look, this is sixty-five thousand. Look at the inside for sale, also, guys. Yeah, nice, eh? For sale, sixty-five thousand dollars. My goodness. And then you, you cannot drive it every day because it's like one of the collector's cars, so to speak. So, but it's nice. They can have it though. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> okay, and then the next one is the same for sale also. Yeah. So, it's a nice interior also. Mm. Kind of like tan inside it. It's leather, so that's good. So, yeah. It's pretty. There's a lot of people that's uh, kind of sur surrounding the uh, the El Camino. They are. What kind of engine does this El Camino has? So is that what they're like talking about? It's fascinating them. No, he's the bar Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Sounds good, huh? Oh, back to the El Camino, yeah, <laughs> $20,000, it's still, you know, not my cup of tea, <laughs> it's a car, it's a truck. <laughs> okay, so my husband was saying that this is, we are right, right for now, right here at the vendor's area. So there's a lot more cars over uh, closer, we're just gonna make a, 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 we're just gonna make a round, you know, so the cars area would be our last stop and then head back out so you know we don't want to miss anything <laughs> so guys i can't believe the people back there it's like this a lot of people i guess it's ended up that they have a big turnout especially especially after the two years pandemic where no no one can go out and do anything so uh, yeah, see that? Oh my goodness, all these people. And this is just only on this side, on the vendor side. So we'll take you to another side, guys.
Can you just see all these people? I mean, it's like, I don't know where they come from. <laughs> I know. So guys, this is my husband would say. Those are just like one of the... I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is kind of like part of the thing that people are just telling. They, my husband would call like more junk. <laughs> but it's for fun for everyone. Toys and more toys for the for the uh, for the young ones. There you go. There's like Hot Wheels. Yeah, they have all kind of different kind of Hot Wheels here, guys. <laughs> the scars guys I don't know if you can hear me but yeah they're just lined up there they are part of the uh, the uh, car show now aren't they pretty I had to go there closer there it is guys it's the frog this is like the frog file uh, information those couple there I mean a couple that second guy that my husband is talking to right now he is one of the like uh, Frog Family's uh, coordinator information people and his wife is right there behind Scott. So we're just gonna say hello. But yeah, this is the 47th year Frog Follies and held at the Evansville Fairground. Oh, this is like a 48 wheelies. Not can eat, guys. <laughs> it is so neat. So of course, like I said, I can't tell you anything. You guys probably, especially like I think what is Vicky? De, I think it's Vicky De Marin. She's in California and she's into it. When she used to live in uh, in the Midwest also. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just coming along and enjoy coming along with my husband and enjoying the uh, uh looking at these pretty cars which is you know we can't afford that's why it's for looks i like this green one to green two-tone green and silver it's pretty it's almost like candy apple like the uh, green apples that's what i should say <laughs> and the red one and let's see we have to go look at some more of here i know is it isn't that so pretty which one you like better Oh, yeah. The silver one? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Boy, they. Oh, wow. Is, is that hard top? Convertible. Convertible. Okay. It's a roadster. Wow. How, what year is I this? I don't know. You don't know. You should 30. know. This is our I friend's uh, car. Yeah. I know. Isn't that pretty, guys? So pretty. Look at the top. Look at the wheels. Wow. <laughs> so nice. It's black. Uh, it's a, it, this is actually a, uh, the interior. Fiberglass, you said? This is probably not a real steel car. This uh -huh, is probably a uh -huh. fiberglass car. Yeah, it's like manufactured and yeah, all that. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I, it's I nice. You have though. a sticker on there. You have a lot of times they have the yeah. little sticker on there that says. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. But, yeah, all things considered, yeah, including the cost. Considered, yeah. yeah, all things That's considered. Right, yeah. yeah, all things considered. Same with me and everybody else. <laughs> okay, well, he's got a scooter. Look at that, he's got a scooter in the back of his truck. So, yeah, so this is where, these are the vehicles that we didn't get to see last night, or maybe it was there and they're covered. But of course, there's a lot of hotels that they probably were staying. Hey, look at this color. It's, it's uh, glittery. glittery. Oh, yeah, glittery. Listen to me talk. And I just realized. Okay, I like just realized it's just. Uh, it uh, has the flame features also. Huh. Did you see this one, guys? It says, please do not touch. Yeah, they're kind of. A lot of them are real particular because if you think about it, the time and money they spent for their vehicle and then with the oil from your hand they don't want to be like polishing it again over and over again they're so uh, 
really particular when it comes to their vehicle. So look at them guys, see, he's still working on it so that it will look so nice and shiny and all that good stuff for judging that is. I don't know, isn't that crazy? This is different. Can you imagine these are the vehicles that's in the uh, early uh, 40s and above and below, 48 below. This is what the uh, this is what the street in America look like. Of course, it's, these are customized for sure. You know the color, I mean the paint, the color, and all that stuff is customized. And sometimes they chop off like the, for example, when I say chop off, let me see, like the, uh, let me see if I can see it, the, like the, that one, that one, that the height or the length from this one to this, it's in, in original, probably, yeah, in original, it's kind of like a little bit taller, you know, but then customizing it, they chop it off from the top or from the back, you know, make it, make it more a street run. There's a cross here too. So look, I know, it just kind of, like I said, this is, well, I, oh, there's another Woody. Oh, this is, I like this a lot. This is, uh, what year is this? It's a 1937 Dodge Woody. I guess the Woody comes from, you know, the, aside from the uh, the engine and everything, most of the, uh, like the side panels are made of wood. See, that's wood. And then like, you know, that's all around it is wood, it, except for the, I think it's sick for the, uh, the floor the floor and the floorboard and things like that but yeah that's why they call it woody from wood so <laughs> wow interesting i like the color though i like the color combo i would like to get a picture of me and this too here's another one guys yeah it's pretty too right oh it gets a, it has a little trailer on its back so yeah I guess my husband was telling me that there are like 4,000 or more cars in the show. And I, of course, I cannot get them all. So I can just get whatever I can get, right? Another one. Oh, this is a pretty color. It's like baby blue, but it's pretty blue. So let me see, what year is this? This is a 1939. Oh. Oldsmobile? Chevy. It's a 1939 Chevy. Nice. So. And, you know, it goes all the way up the hill and back, back over that place. Okay, but I'm just gonna just... I think this is all that I can get, guys. I'm kind of tired of walking, actually. <laughs> 4,000 cars is like mine. Yeah, it's like a sea of vehicles, a sea of cars. So, yeah, that's all what I'm getting for today. So guys, this is all what the, uh, this car show came from. It's from Frog Falls. I think we started, the, the, the club actually started with the frog racing. And my husband says they're gonna do a frog racing here too. I guess it's not later today, like sometime tomorrow. So uh, yeah, that's why that's what it comes it started with frog racing, and then it it evolved into uh, into a classic car, and then into the uh, street rod. So and then like it comes to everybody's kind of liking it, and it it becomes to a big show. Like I said, it's a, a bigger. It's actually like a, a biggest, it's the biggest. A show right biggest non-sanctioned rod run or street run in uh, in America and so this is the 40, 47th year of the show since it started as a since it started as uh, frog racing <laughs> so that's how the word come from guys